top of the day, people. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Matcha Madness. Let's step inside and let's go over how to make the perfect ice matcha latte. Now, do know that you can substitute a cold beverage for a warm beverage. For example, if you are looking to make a hot matcha latte, then you can absolutely add warm milk of your choice. I'm going to just sit this right here so that we can see my area right here. So, first to begin with making your wonderful cup of matcha, I want to start with a bowl. I use this bowl here because I like to allow the customers to be able to see exactly what is being Know. But if you're at home, you can use a ceremonial bowl, bowl of your choice. Next, we're we going to start with the strainer right here. This strainer is the first thing that you scoop your matcha into. And the reason for that is so that when you mix your matcha, your matcha is mixed very well probably got a scoop if you got you a ceremonial kit this is what you use to scoop your matcha out of its container into the strainer inside of your kit you probably also got one of these you take this right here and you ever so gently go around in circles so that the matcha falls through the strainer. And continue until all of the lovely matcha is in your bowl. what that's doing is, is making sure that there's no clumps and lumps in your matcha. Although you're going to whisk it, make sure you get all of it out. And when it's all out, then you're going to add your hot water. I'm going to go get some from See this contraption right here, this water dispenser, it dispenses hot water. So I'm going to go get some hot water from there. I don't want the water to be boiling. Right at about 195 degrees. Both of those are good. Next, you're going to start with your whisk. You're going to take your whisk and you're going to make sure you have a grip on the bowl and you are going to whisk it for about 60 seconds. You want a grip on the bowl because if you don't have a grip on the bowl, the, the liquid will spill. And you're just going around in circles. Nothing too complex. What this is doing is getting the matcha nice and mixed with the water. And in Japan, this began as a ceremonial process. They would do for special occasions. So you can do it for whatever special occasion you like, even if it's just a morning ritual that you do so that you get your antioxidants and you get all of the nutritious value that is found 
and this wonderful, wonderful concentrated green tea. After that, since I am making a cold latte, I am going to get some ice. beverage of choice. I am going to use some almond milk. Okay, I'm going to give it one more good whisk, but you want your matcha to be frothy at the top. That's how you know you've whisked it good enough. But I like to whisk it just a little more right before I mix it with the water. I mean, sorry, mix it with the milk. Making a latte. Lattes have milk. Now you can choose whatever warm beverage of your choice. If you are making a matcha latte, it is best mixed with milk. And if you are making a warm latte, then of course it's going to be mixed with warm milk. Alright. Voila! Here is your iced matcha latte. And if it is warm, then it would be warm milk. Thank you for tuning in.